Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from My Home with Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So you guys, today is such an exciting day. We are finally releasing our financial wellness stationery box. So it did go live today, first to my Facebook group, and so now I'm sharing it with you guys here on YouTube. We're gonna do a full unboxing of it. I'm just so glad it's finally here. There've been lots of hiccups along the way, which prolonged the release of this box. So I'm excited that I'm finally in go mode and I can share all the details with you guys. So without further ado, Let's just get right into it. All right, so we have more of these boxes left. So some of the stationary boxes are gonna ship in this box and some, once we run out of this box, are gonna ship in our normal standard boxes. We've had these just laying around and it's finally time to use them up. So this is the box. Everything that I'm gonna show you that's contained in this box is what's included. There are two different packages, a standard and a deluxe. The standard has what you see in here, or what you're going to see in here. And then we have an add-on deluxe item that you can add to make this whole system your own and then within the listing if you'll notice at the top there are some items that you can add on that work very well with really really customizing your budget planner to make sure that you're going to get the most use out of it and it's going to be the most functional for you so I thought I would mention that so I'm going to sit this to the side because again this is for the deluxe version and I will open that up and share with you what's on the inside of that but let's first get into the standard box y'all because you don't have to get the deluxe version of this the, the standard standard box is jam-packed with all the things. It's just that if you want to add an additional item onto this to make it deluxe and uh, to really give it a true budget planner setup, if that's what you're looking for, you're going to want to stay tuned so you can see that item. Okay, so let's get this open, y'all. I'm so excited. Easy to open. As you guys know, our standard box, um, or this isn't our standard box. Usually for our boxes, it was our standard box, but y'all, these boxes have gotten so pricey. I don't know if it was the pandemic or whatnot. So we just decided to go a little bit different of a route, but we still have our logo and branding information on that box. Um, so this is how those boxes look. So set, we have several of these left. So we may have enough, but if we don't, you'll see yourself with our other boxes, okay? Has our social information there at the bottom. And it's got just a little pattern there. Very simple and basic. All right, let's open it up. You guys, I'm so excited to show this to you. All right, so this is how it's going to look when you open it up. We have freebies, of course, because we just, that's what we do. And so these are all the freebies that are included. And if you notice, we have black tissue paper. I felt like this box, the black tissue paper would go better with it. So we've got the black tissue paper with our logo and then the little black dot there. So these are all of the freebies that are included. This freebie here says spin intentionally. The theme of the box is a modern, like mid-century modern sort of patterns. So you'll see that throughout the whole box, as you can see with the freebie. So that says, it's not about how much money you have, it's about knowing how to manage it, okay? And so that's how that looks as well. So these are the two freebies that will be included with this box. And if we have leftovers, we may just include them down the line just as freebies, but for now they're exclusive to the box. And then this is our other card here. And this is just the standard card that we typically create that has all of the items from that particular box on it. I don't always break them down on the back, so you won't see that. You'll see our social information and such. Um, there have been boxes where I do outline everything that's included in the box, but I typically just like to take a picture of it. And that way you can use it in your planner because it looks decorative and it looks pretty. All right, and then on the back, you'll see how that looks. It's a little different from what you've seen in the past with that mid-century modern look. So those are the freebies that are included. All right, so now let's get into the core of everything. And I'm gonna do this delicately so I don't mess anything up. Uh, y'all, y'all have no idea what it took to get to this point. 
The biggest holdup for us were the calculators. We had ordered some different calculators and those got lost in the mail. And so I had to go back and order the first calculators I was thinking, which I had already ordered some of them. I ordered 102 different colors, so those will be available in the shop uh, if you're looking for a good calculator. And then I said, you know what? I kind of like these other calculators better because the way they were set up, you were able to put business cards inside of the calculator little sleeve. I know, maybe we'll get them in the future. And it came with a pen and that was all built into the calculator. And so I thought those were gonna be fantastic. They still will be hopefully an item we can add to the shop, but I do love this calculator and I'm, I'll share with you why as well. So this is your budget system, you guys. Financial wellness is always a struggle for me. You know, sometimes I'm not always the best at managing my finances. So that's why I knew I wanted to put together a budget box for you guys that had the whole entire system, everything that you guys need in here to be able to create your very own budget planner. With all of these items here, you can build your custom planner or you can take these items and add them to your existing system, okay? So first there's this nice bag. Everything is aesthetically pleasing and neutral. Y'all already know how to roll, right? And so inside of this bag, here we've got several items so let's open it up and the bag is also one of the items and my thought with the bag is that you'd be able to store some of these items in this bag to take with you on the go if you want to do a little planning on the go or you just want to kind of keep your budget system all contained in one place this um, PVC bag would be perfect to kind of store all your budget items okay so let's pull everything out I'm gonna move this to the side just so you can see there are so many items in this budget box as you guys can see all of this in this bag and then there's a ton of items here so we, we didn't skimp on this at all. You guys know how I roll. I typically like to have at least like 15 items in a box just because I feel like that gives you so much more bang for your buck instead of having five, seven items and then charging an astronomical amount. That's just not what we do. We just, you know, we, we try to make it very reasonable. Okay, so these are the journaling cards. Uh, they come three to a pack, so I'll open them up just so you can get a better sense of how they look. They are glossy. Actually, they're not glossy. I forgot I didn't do the glossy because I felt like you, you won't be able to write on them. So these are perfect because you can track your expenses. Um, so it's just a, a cute little expense log that you can pop into your planner. So it's got date, item, method, amount, expenses, month, and category. So again, it comes with three of these, nothing on the back so you can jot notes or whatever. But I thought these would be perfect to just add to your planner, especially if you take it on the go, you just need to write something down really quickly. These are perfect for that. I just love a good journaling card. So it comes with a set of three. All right, and then also we have our cash envelope our cash breakdown these are for our cash envelope system that are included with this you guys are gonna love the cash envelopes they're so beautiful and so these are sticky notes and so my idea behind this is that when you go into the bank to be able to get your cash you can easily just write in the quantity of what bills you need the total for that give it to the teller and then she'll be able to get your cash that you need to be able to do your cash envelopes so this is awesome. And I think there's 50 sheets on this, just like our normal notepads or sticky notes. And so these are awesome. I love these. I definitely have to include those and you guys are gonna love using those. All right, the next thing is a notepad. I love to include a notepad and this one is very functional. So this is for your cash envelope system. Um, it's a notepad and so what you can do with this is pull off a sheet and you'll use that with the cash envelope. So I'll show you kind of how that looks. So let me open this up for you guys. I like to open things up. I feel like it really gives you a true sense of, of how it looks outside of the packaging. So your simple little notepad, it's the size of a dollar bill. And so when you put your dollars in your cash envelope, then it'll kind of line up, okay? That, I don't know, that's just how I, I operate. All right, so the idea is to pull that off. And then I feel like I might as well open these up and share these with you guys, just so you can see how that works. Cash envelopes, it comes in a set of six. They are gorgeous. Oh my goodness, this was, I built everything around this basically. So just to kind of give you an idea of how this works, within the listing you'll see an option to either have these punched 
or unpunched. You can only get them punched for discs because you're not gonna typically put these in your planner. These will be a whole separate little notebook uh, that you'll be able to build. We do have perfectly sized covers and clear and frosted for these. We have um, a ton of disc options, including our new 18 and 24 millimeter discs that will work perfectly for these. So these are so, so awesome. So you can choose whether or not you want them punched or unpunched because sometimes you may have a wallet that you wanna stick these in and you don't need them punched. So you can decide which, whichever works best for you. So basically this would go in here with your dollar bill and then that way you can be able to log all of what you're spending on these sheets. And it's a notepad form. So this is awesome. So that's how that would look. And of course your dollars would be in there. I love the folder aspect of this. So it's got, it's a little, you know, it's kind of like a little folder, like a dashboard, you know what I mean? It's made of a sturdy, like plasticky sort of material. It's got a tab there, as you can see. And so I am obsessed with these. So I'm not typically a cash envelope girl, but I do want to get more into that life because I, I do see the benefits of it. So I'm hoping I can with this box. So these again are a set of six. So of course the tabs go like this. So this would how this is would be how that would look. Aren't those just beautiful? I mean, I love these, and I'm really hoping that you can get a sense of how that looks. So six. So you've got enough for six categories. And if you want to add on another set of these, we will eventually have them in the shop. Whenever I do a box, I try to let it be exclusive until some time goes by, and then I start to add those items slowly. So if you wanted to have 12 subjects, you could, because the sticker that comes with it has 12 categories. So save six for later. You can use six for now. Um, unless I decide maybe after this video goes live that I do wanna go ahead and add the these in there a la carte. Um, I will do that and you'll just see it, okay? Because there are some items in the listing that I think work very well with the box that you can add onto the box. So check the listing for those items as well. You are able to purchase multiple things, um, of course, if you order just the box alone, that ships super quick. If you add other items on, it goes into our normal production queue, which is very short time frame right now because we're caught up. So I feel really good about that. So I am obsessed with these cash envelopes and you guys will be too. There's more than enough space in here to stick that dollar bill in and then also still have it sit in your planner again or have it unpunched if you just wanna stick it in your wallet, if you have a whole wallet system and um, be able to still track all of the things you need to track to make sure you're keeping up with what's remaining in the envelope, okay? So this is what's next. This notepad, I love our notepads. The backing is white, very beautiful, um, instead of that brown cardboardy look. And so these go with this. All of everything works very well together. That goes with that, this goes with this. These are for your tabs. And then of course your cash breakdown this is what all you would need for your cash envelope system. Um, and then of course a cover if you choose to and some additional discs. You do get discs in this box, but they're for the actual budget planner that you're gonna set up. So I love all of these items, you guys. I'm like so obsessed. This is, I don't wanna say my favorite box, but it's up there, it's up there. Okay, again, these are the stickers that are included. They are clear, they're for cash envelope um, categories. So you've got groceries, personal gifts, children, eating out, fun, home, medical, hair care, entertainment, auto, miscellaneous, pet care, hobbies, donation, and savings. And those would just literally go like this. You'd put them on the front, of course, but that's how they, you would be able to see through them. There's the tab and then there's the subject. So these go with this. So don't forget about that. All right, so let's see what we've got next. Let me just put this away. All right, next up is a pin loop. You guys know I love a good pin loop. And this one was so beautiful. I wanted this budget box to scream like elegance, like sophistication, really. Simplicity and sophistication. And I think this is giving, right? It's definitely giving. So look at that logo there, super pretty. And this is like a metal. And then here is the leather pin loop right here that you easily slip your pin into. It's just stunning. I love this. This is one of my favorite items. So I will put this to the side because I wanna show you guys how that would look. All right, 
And then we've got a pocket, a uh, sticky pocket. You guys know I typically always include these. This is one of my favorite items. And this one loads this way. Typically the ones I send load this way. This one loads from the top. And this is for either your journaling cards, but the real reason why I included this in here, I'll show you in a minute, okay? All right, and lastly, the pouch itself. It's so beautiful. So this is a great place to just store all of these things so that way you can have them all in one place. It's got a beautiful snap in black and then it's got our logo there at the bottom. Isn't that so pretty? It's a great size, great material. It's like a poly sort of soft plastic material. It's so beautiful. All right, so let's get into this washi, you guys. Again, with the mid-century modern look, there's our logo. You guys know that's our new logo. We only put that on certain things, and I love it. And so this is how the washi looks. It's so pretty. It's got like a taint. I feel like I should open it, you guys. No, I don't know. Do you guys feel like you get the sense of what... I mean, I always try to keep one of, of every box. So technically this is my box. Let me open it just so you guys can see. I feel like I have to now. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It fits with the theme and it's got just a subtle little hint of like a pinky peachy color. Let me zoom y'all in. And then it's got brown circles and then it's got this little mid-century like modern like funky look and i think it's just really pretty you guys so there's washi this was like a last minute item i wasn't going to include washi and then i say you know what let me just add one more thing to make it hopefully worth it for them and so this was that last thing so washi of course is up next all right so let me zoom y'all back out All right, so next we have a beautiful crystal pen. I love these pens, we include them in every box. And let me open it up just so you can see how it looks. All right, so pretty, right? It's great, fits with the theme. It's got our logo there, it's got like black and clear crystals on the inside. And so that is where this comes into play, okay? This is where you put your pen. Isn't that so pretty? You guys, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with this whole situation. Okay, and then I'll show you how that clips onto your planner. So this is the next item, this beautiful crystal pen in gray and silver. All right, next up is a calculator you cannot have a budget box without a calculator so these are the calculators we were waiting on these weren't the initial ones that we ordered for the box we did order this in limited quantity and we we're just kind of gonna have them uh, just in case you guys needed a calculator um, I thought of these first for the budget box and then I saw these other calculators and I said I like those better and I liked how they were structured and like that you could have a pen and stick things inside of the little pocket and um, then, you know, we were forced to get these, but now these are gonna work very well. And I actually really like the slender look of them. And that is where this comes into play. So let me open it up. And in terms of the additional ones we have of these, we have more of in these color, in this color, which we'll eventually add, that we also have this in another color, which is all black, I believe. And so those will be available at some point in the future. All of these items will be available. All right, so let me open it up and show you how you would add this to your planner. So I thought it would be cool for you to be able to stick this, take the sticky pocket, stick it on a page, stick it on your cover, stick it on any one of our plastic inserts that you can um, use as dividers, uh, any dashboards, and then you can stick your calculator in here. I mean, isn't that genius? I thought it was at least. So you would course open it up it has a sticky adhesive on the back as you can see okay and so you would literally take this calculator look how slim it is it's like a credit card it's the perfect size so low-key glad because this whole situation would work if we had the other calculators although it would just be a different look and so this would just fit right here in the pocket 
Isn't that awesome? And then you would take this off and stick it on whatever page you wanted and you would have easy access to your calculator. You could stick it on one of these if you wanted. You could stick it in this planner because again, we do have covers for cash envelopes now. So you could totally uh, build a cash envelope wallet. Again, it only comes with the cash envelopes that you see here and then those other items I shared with you, the notepad and the cash breakdown. But if you wanna build a cash envelope wallet, uh, stay tuned because I'll share with you an item that is coming and also um, we have covers that you could just make it out of with that okay all right love this love 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 this okay so that is the next item the calculator and then of course you get the sticky pocket as well all right those are two items and let me just give you a closer look it's got like a little shimmery silver on here and it's just really cute and compact and it's solar powered so this is great all right calculator was a must-have all right next discs these are our 1.25 discs they are clear so we've got a clear cover and clear discs normally we do frosted cover frosted discs this time it's clear cover clear discs okay and then we get into the good stuff y'all so of course we have vellum we try to include vellum with every box at least one this is your financial wellness routine so this is daily weekly monthly and yearly there's a spot over here that you can write in some additional things if i forgot to include something that you do um, but we've got prompts here that you can use to make sure that you're hitting everything that you need to do as a part of your routine so this is vellum and our vellum is a very thick vellum it's not a, a flimsy vellum it's a very good quality vellum it does have a very subtle pattern here as well which you may not be able to see but you'll be able to see it in person so it goes very well with the whole theme of the box so that's next your vellum all right and then we get to i'm gonna do the inserts last your cover so this is your clear cover so you have clear cover clear discs okay and so this is the basic foundation of what you're going to use to create your planner all right and then when it comes to adding your pin loop again we have several little inserts that you can put in or a dashboard that you can pop in we do have all that available and it should be in the listing below for easy access to click on it and add it to this order but basically what you do is you take this and you just shimmy it right on to your cover you probably do this to the back cover and there you have it look at that y'all I, I, i'm obsessed and it stays on there so it's not going to fall off as you can see it's very sturdy so i just thought this was such a unique pin loop that i definitely wanted to include for you guys and then our covers are two-piece set so you've got your front and your back again clear covers all right and then the superstar you guys i worked super hard on these and i hope you guys love them and I hope that they are functional for you and that you find lots of value in them and you use them to help you grow financially. Okay, so our financial wellness workbook. This has 56 pages, okay? It comes with three months and I love it. I'm obsessed with it and I cannot wait to use it. So I'm gonna flip through this for you guys. I feel like I need to move some of this stuff to the side. Y'all see all this stuff? It's, it's a lot, it's a lot, but I it, it had to be a lot because you need it, you need everything. All right, so let me get my space together so that way you can see everything. All right, financial wellness workbook. It is a workbook, all right? So this is how thick it is. So if you wanna add it to your planner, that's what you're looking at. I would recommend building a full budget planner. It, it just, you're gonna need a full budget planner. And so that's how the cover looks, financial wellness workbook. It's got that same mid-century sort of pattern there that flows with the theme of everything. Okay, and we'll do a quick flip through and so you guys can see how it looks. Okay, so first we have our budget category. So there are several budget categories here that you can use for reference. And then we get to our SMART financial goals, which is the SMART method, which is specific, measurable action, rewards, and time frame. So this has all that you need to be able to create your yearly goals. There is no, you know, this is just a blank slate. So you come here and write out all of your goals that you want for the year, okay, financially. All right, then we get to our yearly overview. So this is where you'll come and you'll write your income, expenses, savings, and debt paid for the year. 
by the month. So nothing's dated, as you guys know. So you can start literally today or this month. And so you'll start in April or I would probably wait till May. Then you'll cycle back up to January, okay? And then we have our subscription tracker, just in case you have lots of subscriptions going on, you wanna be able to track those. The description website frequency, when it renews, if, is it an auto renewal, the amount and the due date, all right? And then you have your income tracker. So this is where you'll write in all of your income, your sources to be able to track that. And then you can add the month that that pertains to. So the way that I structured these inserts is that once we get to a certain point, we can be able to pull out the monthlies and then everything else is a yearly insert. And so when you're adding on to these, which eventually we will have these available in the shop, some of these items you're going to just keep because they pertain to the year. Again, like these inserts that we've talked about so far, and then you can just slide in your monthlies and then everything else is just surrounding that, if that makes sense. So like this is for the year. So you wouldn't need one of these every single month. Okay. So where that starts is now. So all of these inserts would stay for the year. And then once we get to this point, these are going to be on a monthly basis. So so this is your monthly budget tracker. So this is where you'll come and do everything on a monthly overview. And then you'll come down at the bottom and write in your monthly goals, all right? Everything is neutral, very beautiful, very clean looking. And then here is your monthly layout. So this is just your standard monthly layout calendar where you can come and fill in all of your financials and expenses, all right? Then we get to the paycheck bill tracker. I love budgeting by the paycheck. So if you get paid by the month, you can just use that monthly overview if you want, or you could just use one of these pages. Or if you get paid by the week, there's four of these per month. If you get paid by me bi-weekly, it's up to you. I made these pages in a way that where you can pull them out. So let's say you get paid twice a month. You only need two of these. Then you can just pull two pages out and then you'll still have two remaining for the month. You can use these for later. Okay. So that's, I try to structure things in a way to where you can kind of move things around. All right. So this is your paycheck bill tracker. You've got your monthly stuff over here, your income breakdown, your bills, and then leftover stuff like with what you have remaining. And then you have your um, categories, if you will, like cash envelopes, sinking funds, debt, and saving. And this is where you break everything down by the paycheck. I love this method. It. All right, so you've got enough of these for the whole entire month if you get paid weekly. And then this is where the expense trackers come into place. So you've got three pages to track your expenses. And then this is where that ends. Okay, so we just talked about how you could kind of pull things out. So let's say you wanted to purge this month. It won't affect any of your yearly stuff. Okay, this is a month. So you could just pull this out and store it. Okay, if your planner's getting too bulky or you, whatever reason you have that you don't want that full month in there, you can pull the whole thing out and you know that this is all for that month. Okay, I try to I, I try to be aware of that just so pages don't end up on the wrong side of things. Okay, and then you have two more of those same things. So there's another month and then here's another month. Okay, so you've got three full months. So just remember that uh, when ordering that you're not going to get three of these whole things, you're going to get three months within this whole thing. Okay, and then everything else is for the year. You don't need three full of certain things. You only need three full months where you actually can track the expenses for those months. All right. So if you want it, you can pull out all of this and shuffle things around. So let's say, yeah, so here's your monthly. This is the three months that will be included. So let's say you wanted to pull that out and you want to put this together and then put this on the end. You can do that because all of this is yearly stuff and this is just monthly stuff. Okay. But I chose to put it in the middle because I feel like that's the best place for it. All right. So then you get to your debt reduction tracker. So you can track things as you're paying off your debt. And then there's a little thermometer here. You can write in uh, when you're at hundred percent or write in the dollar amounts and then start shading them in as you're reaching those goals. Okay. And then we have a debt snowball tracker. Gotta have that. I have space for five debts and then it's broken down by the month. You put your starting balance and then you put your payment and then the new balance payment and then new balance payment and the new balance. That's how it snowballs, okay? And so this is next. And then we have budget challenges. So let's say you wanna do a no spend challenge or some sort of budget challenge, maybe, you know, limit eating out or anything like that. You can put that in this section. You have four slots for different challenges challenges for the year. Um, we do also have these available in the shop. They're not called budget challenges. They're called um, 
31 day challenge, something like that, um, or 30 day challenge. So you could easily just slip some of those in if you need more of these, okay? And then we get to our savings tracker. So the savings tracker, this place is a place just for you to be able to track what's in your savings. So the date, what deposit you made, what if you took anything out, and then the balance for your savings account. All right, then we have a tracker if you're saving for something specifically. Uh, you could put that here. You could put the start date, um, the end date, the amount that you're trying to save, and then just start shading these in or writing in the dollar amounts as you're moving further and further towards those goals. You have four, so you could put, you know, that you're saving for different things four times and go ahead and start tracking those things, all right? As y'all see, I put a lot of thought into this. So I really hope that you guys see that value in these could work for you guys, okay? Um, next, wish list. I like to include a wish list just because there's so many different things that I wanna buy and I feel like um, if I write it in here, I can, it's more likely for me to be able to easily budget for those things. Then donations, if you do a lot of donations, of course that is a part of your budgeting that you wanna make sure you factor in so you can write those things in here, right? And then the ending page is a notes page. So you can write in how things went you know, anything you want to just take note of, you can include that here. So I love these. And I the fact that you guys get three months, so this will get you started. And again, if you want additional ones of these, eventually, probably by the time you run out of these, they'll be available in the shop, okay? And I just think they're super pretty. Everything is no polka dot spine. We felt like this was going to give it the cleanest look so that the polka dots wouldn't clash with the, the already busy design that's on the front. So we decided that we just wanted to go with that clean look. So that is everything that is in this box, you guys. And I love it all. And I'm gonna be setting up a budget planner eventually. And when I do, I will come here and I will share that with you guys so you guys can see how I get mine set up. But the basic concept of it is to take your cover that's included. These would sandwich in between the cover. You've got your discs here. You'll add your pin loop on the middle. You'll add some filler paper. You have your, your vellum here that you'll add in maybe on the front, just you have that there, or you can insert it somewhere you know, throughout. And then you'll take your adhesive pocket folder, you'll slip your calculator in there, you'll add it to the cover, or you'll have some dashboards that you'll add it to. And then you'll stick your pin in the pin loop, you guys, this is so awesome. If you want, you can add your cash envelopes to the actual budget planner, but as you can see, the scale is off. This is just one size. Again, we want to make sure it fit a dollar bill. Um, but if you wanted to, you totally could do that. And then you'll have your your notepad that you'll have whatever you're, you're tracking on there. You put the month up, the total budget. At the top, you can put whatever the category is if you want, even though it will be on the side here. Then you have your cash breakdown. When you go to the bank, write in all of your numbers, hand it to the teller, she'll give you the cash, and then you can start filling up your cash envelopes. Then of course, we've got journaling cards that could also fit inside that ad adhesive pocket. We also have more in our shop if you just decide that you want um, to do some different things. We have options there. Then these go on the cash envelope so that way you can see what subject it is that you're trying to pull cash out of or add cash to. You've got your washi here to decorate some spreads for the month or the weeks. And then you've got your freebie cards, of course, as always, we include them. You can put them in here some kind of way. And then a pouch that you can store it all in. So you can literally take everything, you know, and any other budgeting things that you have that you need to store, and you can just take it and put it all inside of this bag. And you would have all of your budget stuff all together in one place, y'all. Yes, right? I mean, I'm just saying, uh, I feel real good about this and I feel like you guys are gonna benefit so much from this and me too, because a lot of times, again, y'all know, I create things for myself and then I say, you know what? This would be beneficial to other people. Let me share it, okay? And so that's to, that today is no different. So this is everything that's included in your standard box. So now let me show you something that I'm loving that you'll be able to add, you'll be able to purchase as a part of the deluxe box. All of that. Okay, and then this stunning, beautiful cover, okay? So these are our new wallets. Of course, you guys know everything comes in our Fancy Plans Co. bag. So I'm gonna open it up for you guys so you can see how she looks. So gorgeous. So ostrich 
So ostrich is our most popular right now in terms of planner covers. So I ordered this in ostrich for you guys because I know how much you love a good ostrich. So this is kind of how ostrich looks. It's so beautiful. So it's got the gold hardware here, as you can see. This can act as your standard wallet. Okay, so if we open it up on the inside, we'll see that we've got some slots over here on the left-hand side, so you can stick your credit cards in here. I've already done a little setup of it, so I'll probably eventually do a cash envelope setup um, and show you guys how it would set this up as my wallet. Um, so you've got slots here that fit your credit card. You can even stick your notepad in the slot if you'd like, just to keep it with you. And then you've got two slots here on the side and two more here on the back to slide some additional things in. You could also slide your notepad in here as well. You could slide your calculator in there. You could put your calculator in here if you wanted to, so you could have it on the go with you. The sky's the limit, you guys. I mean, this, this thing is beautiful. Stick that in there if you want it, and again, there is a slot for a pen. This will fit the Skinny Mini Planner from the Happy Planner as well. You guys remember some time ago here on YouTube, I shared with you guys a cover that I had bought off of Amazon that I used as for my Skinny Mini Planner. And it went viral. You guys went and I think sold it out in like a day. It's probably back in stock now. But it's not, it wasn't like this because it was like, you know, made of a different material and this is your vegan leather cover. And um, so this is kind of similar to that. Um, and then you can put your pin in right here, you guys. I'm so happy with everything and how everything turned out. And then of course you'll need to purchase the cover, which is specifically made for cash envelopes. So you'll see that in the listing. Look under clear covers or frosted covers and you'll see a specific variation for that. And then some discs. And then that way you can be able to slide in your cover and then attach your cash envelopes if you added the option to get them punched in this planner, okay? And if you didn't, as you can see, you could literally just have like a file sort of system and just kind of keep them in here and then just zip it up. It's up to you. So that's why we wanted to have an option for you to have it punched or unpunched. But y'all, I'm, I'm like so excited about, I'm like hype, y'all don't even know how pleased I am with how things turned out, even though it took a little time to get here. I'm just really happy with everything and how everything looks and the fact that I feel like this is really gonna help you guys. So this is what makes this deluxe, is that this cover is included. The standard cost for this cover is a certain price and we marked it down as a part of the bundle. So you, if you bought this a la carte, it would be more expensive than if you bought it together with the bundle. So this is the deluxe bundle. So it comes with the wallet. This will be your wallet system. So you put all your credit cards, your money and all that in here. And then you put your cash envelopes in here. So you could have a whole system. So I hope you guys love all of this. So let me just lay it all out for you guys again. So deluxe again, cover or wallet, and then the cash envelopes. We've got your calculator, your notepad. We've got this beautiful PVC bag that you could use to store it all in or whatever you decide to use it for. We've got discs. We've got your pocket there for you to be able to add your calculator or journaling cards. We've got washi. We've got stickers for the cash envelopes. We've got a three-piece set of expense tracker journaling cards. We've got your cash breakdown that you can use and take it to the bank. We've got your pin loop, your stunning pin loop. We've got the actual pin, crystal pin. We've got your financial wellness vellum, the routine. We've got a clear cover and we've got your workbook. So this is everything that is included, making sure I'm not forgetting anything, in this financial wellness box. And I, and I hope you guys love it. I, you know, it, just know there was a lot that went into this, a lot of patience, a lot of just making sure you, I was very intentional with what I included. And I just hope that you guys see, you know, some benefit of it, in which case, of course, we want you to pick one up. No pressure, but I hope you love it. That's what I'm trying to say. So there are one, two, and again, this is three months. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 items if you include this item for the deluxe. Plus, technically, this is a keepsake bag, you know, that you could use to store things in as well. So this is it. <laughs> 
this is the financial wellness stationery box you guys so i definitely wanted to come on here and do an unboxing for you guys so i can share with you how this looks and stay tuned for a video where i'll piece everything together for you but it's pretty self-explanatory it's your standard budget planner so you put it together in the best way that you feel like is going to work for you so thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, head on over to Fancy Plants Co. if you're interested in this. And remember that there are some links within the description of the listing of some items that I didn't mention today that will work very well with this. One being your dashboards. We do have clear and frosted dashboards that you may want to add onto this. And you may want to build a planner from there with some different subjects. And we do have some other stickers that are more financial geared that aren't just for subjects that you could add on to that. We have a pocket folder I can show you guys this here because I didn't feel like going downstairs to pick it up to show you guys but we have these these would work very well for receipts they come punched or unpunched or hole punched okay because we do have this in different sizes this comes in big happy planner classic happy planner half letter a5 and mini and just keep in mind with a5 it is hole punched these will not be hole punched and so just remember that with a5 it doesn't include a cover or disc you don't need that um, and so everything will be hole punched for you all right and those are all of the sizes that are included so that will work very well and then also this would work very well with the setup as well if you have you know since we have a lot of journaling cards that are included the calculator also fits in these so these are fairly new to the shop they have four slots so each one of these is its own separate slot that you could use to put your calculator in or you could use to put the journaling cards in. And then also another item that would work well are our poly folders. So you'll see those in the listing and this is a double sided folder. So there's a folder slot here, folder slot on the first side. You could use this for receipts or just things that you need to tuck in there that are budget related. So those are three items in addition to our dashboards that will work very well. And then of course the cash envelope wallet cover and smaller discs if you want to create your own little cash envelope wallet situation. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel about this box. Do you love it? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear from you. So thanks again for stopping by. Hopefully you guys will give me a thumbs up on this video. If you enjoyed it, you'll subscribe to my channel if you're new here and you'll come back by and catch another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.